Hey everybody, I wanted to create a video for you that would show you how to progress your weight along with the strength training workouts because one of the most common questions we're getting is what weight should I use and how long should I wait until I go up in weight and so hopefully this can help you figure that out for yourself and obviously your trainers, myself, will be there to help you but if you can kind of keep these principles in mind, it's going to help you progress and get better from week to week to week. So as you know, every month we'll switch up the repetitions that we do. So like last month we did 10 repetitions. This month we're doing 15 repetitions. And when you're deciding what weight you want to use, there's a few different uh, things you can think about that we've talked about before. So the first one being that when you complete the repetitions, right, when you get to 15 reps for a given movement, let's say for the dumbbell incline bench press, which I have right up here, once you get to 15, you want that 15th to be to the point of difficulty where you think you can only get about two more. So let's say you um, you chose your workout week one and you're like, hey, I'm gonna do the dumbbell and kind bench press and I have you know 10 minutes to get as many sets as possible and like we've been doing. Um, so 10 minutes and over the 10 minutes you get four sets in, right? And let's say um, for three sets you get uh, you get 20 pound dumb 20 pound dumbbells for 15, right? And then each time you get 20 pounds for 15. So in this case, if you're able to get four sets with 20 pounds for 15, what that says is, hey, you're doing a really good job with this weight. You're probably ready to move on. So what I would like to say is look for about three sets of being able to hit a weight for the given amount of reps you're supposed to. So if you look at that, there's three sets at 20 pounds that you were able to hit the 15 repetition. So therefore, next week, we want to increase it. So let's say next week we come along and we do that same movement, right? So it's dumbbell incline bench press. It's 15 reps and it's for 10 minutes. Great. So now what we do is we know, hey, last week I did 20 pounds by 15. I did it three times with good form. I even did an extra, so I'm probably ready to go up. So this week we're going to do 25 pounds by 15. So we got one for 15. That's great. Maybe the next one we get uh, 12 reps, and then maybe the next one we get 11 reps. And then we do get a fourth set in, but that's that's kind of down to like nine, so it's lower. So what this would tell me is, hey, I was unable to get three sets for 15 reps, and so I want to stay at the same weight. And what you'd actually do is keep track of each set individually. So they say, hey, on my first set, I got 15. On my second set, I got 12. On my third set, I got 11. The next week, we'll copy and paste real quick. The next week, you would continue on. So let's say week three here. And I would say, hey, well, my first set, I did 25 by 15. So I know for my first set, I'm probably going to get that again. And there you go. So you got 25 by 15. But let's say on the second set, you got 25 by 15 that time. So now you're already seeing that you're doing more reps than you did last week and you're making progress. And let's say you did 13 on the third set and then you did 11 on the fourth set. So I would be like, hey, I, I didn't get three sets of 15. So I know next week that I probably want to stay at the same weight, but next week I'm going to get three sets of 15. And then, so you'd stay with that weight. You come right down here. And let's say that's week four. And let's say you got you got 15 across the board. Great. So now you've done three sets of that weight. Now what you want to do is if if we continue to week five, you would repeat that process. You'd say, all right, I'm at week five now, doing the same movement, the same amount of reps. But this time I'm gonna shoot for 30 pounds. And that same sort of cycle is gonna continue where, hey, maybe you get 13 by 12, and then maybe, or 30 by 12, maybe you get 30 by 11. You just keep doing that until you are able to get three sets of the given amount of reps. So, that, so this same thing is going to apply to any rep range. So let's say, for example, that the workouts another month from now are, are eight reps. You would, you would apply the same thing. So if you were able to do 20 by eight, Okay. Then the next week, after you complete that for three sets, the next week you want to go to 25. 
And maybe you only get seven, and maybe then you get six, and then you get five, and then you get five. Okay, then you'd want to stay at 25 until you're able to hit three sets across the board. So this gives you a little bit of guidance on how to progress and know when to progress from week to week. But the prerequisite here is that you are keeping a journal, that you have a journal. Because even as coaches, I can only guess what's a good weight for you unless I've memorized you know, exactly what you've done from week to week. Um, I can only guess and, and say what your next weight should be unless you're keeping a journal. If you're keeping a journal and you're still unsure, at least a coach can look at it and make an educated decision off that. But this is a guide that will not only help us as, as your trainers help you decide what weight to use, but help you in progressing and moving forward so that you're getting stronger and that you're seeing progress and becoming the healthiest, uh, best version of you. So everybody, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please leave uh, a a comment below. Um, just ask them, and I'll be happy to answer any for you. But hope this is helpful, and have a great day.